Broadwater has earned a less than impressive C- minus for its water quality in the latest Healthy Waterways report. The Mayor is now calling on residents to step up and help out. It's a report card that hasn't painted a flattering picture of the broad water. Going from a B to a C- minus in a year, the reason? Sewerage. Treated process, so it's, it's not anything dire, but it's an indication in the long term uh, that, can, that can cause excessive algal blooms that really will muck up our waterways. The Mayor says it's a wake-up call for the city. we got to set, set a better benchmark. we got to go up to um, that our water, waterways are clean, are clear. It's the end of uh, the rest of Australia. Tom Tate now aims to improve Broadwater's grade to a B plus within two years, but says residents will need to play a vital role. Those with septic systems needs to get their act together. And the report card hasn't swayed Tom Tate's push for a cruise ship terminal in the area, saying one would help improve the health of the broad water. The additional dredging uh, that we're going to do um, is going to make the, the waterways deeper, it's going to clear out the, the uh, nitrogen and uh, the effluent uh, flow is going to be a lot easier with the tidals. Meantime, the Gold Coast's estuaries and freshwater catchments are averaging a B-, minus, with Talabudra and Coomera losing half for grade. Annalise Rosendahl, Nine Gold Coast News. We got to go up to um, that. Our water waterways are clean, are clear. It's the envy of uh, the rest of Australia. And the report card hasn't swayed Tom Tate's push for a cruise ship terminal in the area, saying one would help improve the health of the broad water. The additional dredging uh, that we're going to do um, is going to make the, the waterways deeper. It's going to clear out the, the uh, nitrogen, and uh, the effluent uh, flow is going to be a lot easier with the tidals. Hello, I'm Sally Bowery. A giant plume of silt has started creeping out of Fremantle Harbour and is headed for WA's most popular beaches. It's spread from dredging to make the port deeper. One scientist says nearby beaches like Cottesloe are unsafe, but environmental authorities say swimmers shouldn't worry. Once again, the point where river meets the sea is smothered by a plume of silt. Now, though, tides are spreading it. The Environmental Protection Authority says there's nothing toxic in there. Marine scientist Dr Jean-Paul Orsini disagrees. Seeing it with your own eyes, it's absolutely amazing. This is, what's happening is appalling. It's a, it's a public scandal. We flew Dr Orsini over the plume in the Seven News helicopter. It looks absolutely awful. Uh, I would never thought that it could have been that bad and it's ex extending, almost looks almost halfway to rottenness. The scientist says nearby beaches like Leighton and Cottesloe are unsafe for swimming. Page 14 of EPA's assessment predicted that we could see a visible plume up to 20 kilometres north of Fremantle. A visible plume does not equate to environmental harm. The harbour's being deepened to allow for bigger boats. The member for Fremantle wants the dredging stopped immediately. Parents telling me that their children swimming in the river have got sore eyes, bloodshot eyes. You know, we want a proper health assessment conducted. The EPA and the government claim daily checks clear the plume of dangerous chemicals and pesticides. I don't intend to cease the dredging. The clear advice that is being provided to me by the EPA is that all of the analyses are showing that there is no risk uh, from a health or environment point of view. What I would urge them to do is come for a swim in it and, and, and tell me uh, what, what they think. Dr Orsini has even written to the Rottnest Channel Swim organisers warning swimmers could be at risk. Organisers say they've asked the dredging to stop a day before the race but only to improve visibility. Blake Johnson, 7 News.